We're out here today from Mori's Invergrove Mazda to compare the Mazda CX-5 and the Honda CR-V. I'd like to show you some stuff on the exterior as well as a few things inside the vehicles. So the Honda CR-V has a 2.4 liter with 185 horsepower. The Mazda is only one horsepower less out of its 2.5, but it is going to give you one MPG more as combined fuel economy. So towing up to 2,000 pounds with the CX-5, that gives you enough to tow a small aluminum boat or maybe a bike trailer as well. So both the Mazda and the CR-V are gonna have more of an adaptive all-wheel drive system. For the most part, it's gonna be in front wheel drive to help you get the best possible fuel economy, but then say a winter storm comes along, it will kick in automatically and go right back to four wheel drive for you. So the first thing you're gonna notice when you jump in the CX-5 is that everything is within arm's reach. You're not stressing for anything. There's a touchscreen navigation, your Bluetooth, the nav, it's gonna be a rear backup camera as well. It's right there, easy to use. Also, you're gonna notice with your left hand, it's all your audio controls, Bluetooth controls. With your right hand, it's cruise control. I mean, everything you need is right there. As far as ride and drive is concerned, the car's great. It drives more like a compact sedan than an SUV. It's really nimble, it's really light, it doesn't wander on the highway or anything else like that. So the Honda CR-V here on the inside, you can tell it's very similar to ones of the years past. Kind of has a similar layout. It, I don't want to say it's an old feel, but it's definitely Honda's key feel that they've stuck with. Um, everything is easy to use again. You have your cruise control, your audio controls. It's in your line of sight, which is nice. I mean, you can see right up there where you're looking for all your radio and everything else that way. Um, you are going to get the backup camera on the sunroof. This is the EXL, so this is pretty loaded up, heated leather seats and all that. Um, and just it's got a little bit of a dated feel to it nothing major honda's had that reputation of reliability and that's really what you're buying with the honda so in the exl one thing i missed from when i jumped to the mazda to this is that easy lane change assist when you tap the blinker down in the mazda it's going to blink three times for you and it's just one of those little things you kind of get used to uh, the other thing it doesn't have would be the blind spot detection system again after driving around for a little bit it's really easy to get used to that stuff Thanks for checking out our quick comparison of the Mazda CX-5 and the Honda CR-V. Make sure to stop by Maury's Invergrove Mazda to schedule your test drive today. Thanks again for watching and make sure you buy happy.